As Clay County students return to campus tomorrow and many others have already started as we know, this is a good time to remind them about how to properly, properly wear a mask. While it may seem simple, it's surprising to see how many people don't wear them correctly. Dr. Pauline Roll is the director of the Duval County Health Department joining us via Zoom this morning. Good morning, thanks for being with us. Good morning, it's always a pleasure, Jen. And before we get into the proper wearing of masks, I do want to illustrate, you joined us last week, and there is a direct correlation between proper mask wearing and contact tracing. So this is extremely important that our children are wearing these correctly because it could impact the number of people who could be exposed if they're not, correct? Yes, yes, it, it certainly can. Um, although, uh, you know, cloth masks um, don't provide 100% protection, they do provide uh, some decrease in spread of virus because it causes, first of all, if someone coughs or sings or talks, it, uh, it decreases the traveling of the virus because the virus kind of gets caught up in the cloth mask. And so, yes, we see people wearing it like this, <laughs> like this, like this, which is not a proper way to wear it. And, and most often we see people wearing it below their nose, which is definitely not the way to wear it. That, limits the protection for and, sure. And could you explain why that's so important? I am not kidding you, Dr. Roll. I was at Academy getting some shoes for my daughter over the weekend, and I must have seen at least five people that were not wearing the mask correctly. And I'm not pointing out a particular store, but just illustrating the fact that this is a common problem everywhere. Yes, we certainly see it everywhere. And the whole point of the mask, again, is to, is to keep me from spreading it to someone else if I happen to have COVID. And so if all of us are wearing our masks, it decreases the likelihood that any of us will get the virus. And so folks wearing it below their nose, which is often what we see, um, is not helpful because they can still breathe out that virus. Um, and I've seen people, you know, wear it around their necks, on their chin, um, just because for them it's so uncomfortable. But we have to keep in mind the whole point is to prevent someone who has COVID from spreading the virus to others. And the more people who wear their masks, the less likely there will be COVID virus in the atmosphere. And then we're all protected, we hope. So does it matter yes. where you touch the mask when you're removing it or putting it on? Uh, so certainly it's important that, so this is a basic mask that a lot of people have. It's important that you grab it by the ear loops. Um, you shouldn't grab it here. You should definitely grab it at the ear loops. First, wash your hands or sanitize your hands before putting on your mask. Grab it by the ear loops and then loop it around your ears. Um, and then make sure it's over your nose and mouth for best coverage. Um, as we have heard, neck gaiters are not, don't provide good coverage, and the CDC does not recommend those masks with vents. And so it's important to have a regular uh, cloth mask um, and save the uh, N95s for the healthcare professionals. So, and, and I think you just really touched on something that I think is very important because I see net gators used, um, you know, quite frequently at schools or in stores that I visit. Uh, is there a certain kind of mask for parents who are trying to pick these out, knowing the kids are probably going to lose theirs at school, that they should be selecting for the best protection? So uh, there are a number of masks that have filters in them. Those, uh, those do provide a measure of protection or basically a basic cloth mask. For example, the mask that I'm showing you is a mask that was distributed by the Florida Department of Health, and these are certainly safe. Um, it's important that people wash their mask every day, not wear the same mask every day again, because the whole point is to trap those germs. And so you want to be able to keep that mask clean. And so it's important that people wash their masks every day. But a, a good sturdy cloth mask, one with a filter is perfectly fine. Uh, if you're going to wear one with a filter, please make sure you change those filters as well. What is the best way for students to store their masks when they take them off to eat lunch? Ideally in a plastic bag. And so once they take the mask off, when they have the ear loops, they should fold it close and hold it at the end here and put it in a plastic bag and save it until after lunch. And ideally, again, at the end of the day, wash that mask every day. They need to make sure when they put the mask on, they're putting it back on correctly um, at the, the way they, um, so that the appropriate part is facing the face. Dr. Pauline Roll, great information. Thank you for your time this morning with the Duval County Health Department. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a great day.